Apple's iMovie 08 software is a great editing tool to use to create a movie. iMovie 08 lets you add music, effects, titles, graphics, voiceover, and transitions to create a polished looking movie in no time. And sharing that movie has never been easier with one-click exports for iTunes, iPhone, and YouTube to name but a few iMovie 08 represents a huge change from previous versions of iMovie that you may have used in the past, and the software reflects that. So just be aware that if you're using an earlier version of iMovie, much of this lesson won't apply. That being said, let's start our lesson by taking a look at iMovie 08's interface. When you launch iMovie 08, you'll see the program's whole interface in one window, which is broken up into five different panes or sections. Starting from the upper left-hand corner, First, we have the project library. It's possibly easiest to think of projects as movies. Every movie lives in its own project. And when you want to edit a new movie, you need to start a new project. iMovie 08 allows you to have multiple video projects open at once. All of them are accessible from the same place, the project library. Just click on the name of the project you want to work with in the project browser, and iMovie 08 will display it for you. The next pane, in the top middle position, is the project storyboard. The project storyboard is where you'll do the majority of your work, creating your movie, adding video and audio, moving things around, and making video clips longer or shorter. Just next to the project storyboard, in the upper right-hand corner, is the viewer. The viewer is, simply, where you view all of your video, whether it's a clip you want to add to your movie or the movie itself. Any video you want to watch plays in this pane. In the lower left-hand corner of the iMovie 08 window is the Event Library pane. If you use Apple's iPhoto 08, events should be a concept that's familiar to you. In iMovie 08, an event is a bunch of raw, uncut video clips that are grouped together, usually based on the time and date that they were shot. When you import your video into the iMovie 08 application, it automatically puts clips with similar timestamps into an event. This works especially well with tapeless cameras. As with the project library, just click on the name of the event you want to look at, and iMovie 08 will load all the clips in that pane into the next pane, the event browser. The event browser, the large pane at the bottom right of the window, is where iMovie 08 shows all the clips in a selected event. This is where you can preview and select the portions of video you want to use. Each clip is displayed as a film strip, and you can play any of the event clips by clicking on it and pressing the space bar on your keyboard and it'll play in the viewer pane. Or you can skim through your video quickly by dragging your mouse over the clip. The last item to go over is the toolbar, which runs horizontally across your window between the upper and lower panes. The toolbar is where you'll find the buttons that allow you to add music, voiceover, photos, titles, and transitions to your video. From there, you can also adjust your audio and video, crop and rotate your video, or mark clips as favorite or rejected. At the extreme left end of the toolbar is the button that starts the process of importing video. Right next to that is a button that will swap the two project-related panes on the top and the two event-related panes on the bottom, giving you more room for your storyboard. That's the basic iMovie interface. Now you can move on to the next lesson into how to import your video from your camera into your laptop.